All right, this morning we're going to talk about how to replace values in a string. And I've been asked this question recently, so I thought I would answer it. Most programming languages, for the record, have some sort of a replace language. Uh, right off the top of my head, for instance, PowerShell does, C Sharp does, uh, Ruby and Python, I believe, do. Um, I remember using something, and then let's see, and of course, T-SQL is a programming language in and of itself, and it does too. So the t syntax of replace is you pass in the value, in T-SQL that is, you pass in the value that you want to replace, or the, uh, the column that you want to replace, or the parameter that you want to replace, and then there's going to be the comma, what you want to replace, comma, what you're going to replace it with. Now in other programming languages, um, it may be a little bit different. For instance, uh, this is the syntax here, so we're replacing uh, the column string, we're replacing the comma here with a blank. Uh, other programming language, there may not be this. That's because, like in C Sharp, if I have an object, then it's string, and my object, um, man, it's been a while since I've actually done, let's just say it's string equals new string, and, um, and then I would say string equals, and then I would say, wait, wait, no, I'm sorry, it's st equals st.replace. This is one of those things where if you're not actually doing it, in the environment, then you, it's kind of hard to think about. Okay, so we have a string, new string, and um, then we would say, hey, replace the commas with that. That's usually what you'll see in an object-oriented language. <clears throat> All right, so we'll call that. As you can see, we're going to replace the commas in this column. Uh, this is coming from a table, that is, which is inserting the values into a string. Let's just prove that. Okay. And we're placing it with blanks. So 1, 2, 3, 4 becomes 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, if we're doing it parameters, uh, for instance, we would do this with like stored procedures. We have a stored procedure and a string is coming from the outside to the inside. We can then actually set the string equal to replace the string, comma, and then of course a blank. So that's just some uh, you know brief programming logic. Now, for my Udemy students who are watching this video, since this is also on the Udemy playlist on the YouTube, I, I suggest always doing things on the front end and not on the back end like this. Data validation is better to do on the front end. Don't do as much data validation on the back end. It's not that you can't do it. As you can see, you can conveniently do a replace in SQL Server, but it's actually a lot faster to just do it in C Sharp or PowerShell. And since we use PowerShell for most of our data validation, just go ahead and throw it in PowerShell because that'll be a lot faster anyway. 